Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a weight for words or phrases in Midjourney text to image AI Discord bot. So if you want to use weight, the way to use weight is using two columns. So I'm just going to give you a quick example. If I write imagine and I write something like um, sphere, right? And I do two columns and then a number. So if I write something like that, and cube one, uh, I give them to the same weight. Basically, weight is relative, so again, depends on what I write, it's all relative to each other, to the other weights, basically. So this is actually like writing something like that, right? Now, uh, so let's try something, that, let's give the sphere and the cube the same weight. Keep in mind that if you write something like that, and you write something more like a phrase, for example, a cube with an apple. All right. The weight will con be considered for the entire sentence here until the other weight. All right. So until this one, until the sphere weight one. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just put cube. All right. And let it render. Now we're going to try another one. And we're going to write here sphere and let's give a sphere one right and cube let's give it weight two right and let's make another one and let's give a sphere weight two and cube weight one Right. There's nothing more higher, as I uh, imagine. Let's give a sphere uh, weight 5 and cube 0 0.5. Luckily for me, I won't relax and I, it's render fast, which is nice. Um, if you do that, by the way, give it a bit of time, of course, to finish so we can actually see some of the details are actually added after, you know, maybe in a 50-60% mark, so you really see the difference when it's fully rendered. So this is sphere and cube 2, higher weight for the cube, all right, less for the sphere, all right? We still see spherical elements, but most of it is cubic. It has more weight. This has sphere 2, cube 1, so we still see cube elements. Again, just need to let it render. It's 66%, but you're going to see it when it finishes, sphere you have higher weight, but you're still going to see cube elements in the image, right? So again, basic description, of course, we can do this for much more complex things. So this is, for example, sphere 2, cube 1. This is cube 2, sphere 1, right? Uh, this is sphere 1, cube 1, all right? So again, depends on... Uh, the way that you give it, that's what it want to do. So uh, this is uh, another example. So if you write something like imagine and you write, for example, let's do three colors. All right, let's write um, apple. Uh, and now we're going to write a colored in and we're going to write in I'll just apple, apple, and write the colors. So we're going to write red. We're going to do two. Green. We're going to put it two columns again. One. In blue, 0 0.5. And we hit it. All right. So basically now I'm giving weight, uh, more weight to the red, less to the green, and the lowest is blue. So you're going to see the images with an apple, with the colors, oh, this is finished actually. Again, this is sphere 5 and cube 0 0.5. So you can see red is dominating colored by green. Here is more red, again, if you consider the background here, right? And uh, well, we can actually see the bit blue here, again, 
just need wait until it finishes right and we're gonna kind of toy around with that now all right and now we're gonna write something with change the colors imagine apple uh, red 0 0.5 uh, green 0 0.5 and blue 2 All right. oh it's a mistake I'm gonna cancel it the mistake here is that I didn't put two I need to put two of them here we go it's a good right. apple red green the same All right and again apple get one see the uh, dominant dominant and is the first and you're gonna see that things are changing now blue would be more common basically we're gonna get blue apples with some hints of green and red so you can see how it actually affects the image when we apply different weight to the keywords right now of course i can write something longer i'm gonna wait for it and until then i'm gonna write imagine All right let's try to imagine uh something a figure and a background all right so let's say uh all right you can see here oh it's already finished let's see the results all right so this is a nice way to get something with very precise descriptions words all right so we write a uh, man all right man on mars all right so this is like the subject you really gonna get. This of course describe, uh, can describe. You can do something like inside or on top, all right? Uh, but again, just men on Mars. Oh, yeah, and let's give uh, uh, Mars, on Mars, less weight. So men will be gonna be five on Mars, gonna be 0 0.5. Let's render. All right. I'm going to show you also how we're going to do it in, with styles, which is more interesting actually. Me on Mars, we're going to do 0 0.5, and on Mars, 5. All right. Now, Mars would be more prominent than the man in the image. Keep in mind, of course, things will change if I change the aspect ratio. I'm just going to show you here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is mix and match. Uh, this is uh, going to take a, a, an example uh, by someone shown on GitHub uh, by Will Wolfkin. All right, so I'm just going to copy it. So you can see that Mars now is the dominant thing. And here, Mars, sorry, Mars is the dominant thing here. Man is smaller, so you can see man is bigger, more prominent in the image, and here is smaller. So if you want maybe to create something with a man not taking big part of the image, you just reduce the weight, and you're gonna see more of a landscape of Mars than a man smaller. Because again, as you can see, it's all about weighting things out. So man is much more prominent here. So this is a very good example. You can see the difference between the weights. In this two one all right uh now we're going to just use this example and basically we can do it of course with everything like with style uh here we're going to go with just uh let's do paint and buy again these are just uh different styles painting styles from artists so if you're going to do that uh painting over three right this gets one all right paint and buy this is the style all right so we're going to do enter. I'm just going to copy it. And we're going to do the other one so you can see the styles very clearly. 
and uh, give it zero and here say three and I'm going to do a mix between the two and this can lead to really beautiful results if you're mixing two different art styles. I mean I try it out and it just led to some really really beautiful results all right so I'm going to put oh what have I done 30 oh that's a mistake that's a mistake cancel it <laughs> that's a mistake uh, <clears throat> Sorry, right, this is me. Um, here is zero, Alex. <clears throat> this is free. This is zero. All right, here we go. And now I'm going to do another one. And uh, we can just give it, just give it one, uh, one in one. All right. So we're going to be the same weight. So basically, you're going to see that <clears throat> there are two styles. All right, and um, we're just going to mix between the two. And of course, there are many styles recognized by Mid Journey, and uh, you can get some amazing results if you kind of uh, play around with it. See, one is kind of more glowy, and the other one is kind of uh, more paint like with emphasis on really kind of a uh, paint like, especially the you can see it's a bit distorted around the tree, but the art style are very, very different. All right, so this is a mix. All right, this is a mix. So this is one with high weight for Alex Gray. This is Bob Ross. All right, you can see it here. This is again Bob Ross. See, this is a mix. This is uh, where is it? Yeah, this is Alex Gray, and this is a mix between the two. All right, so we can actually mix between different. Other directions for different artists, and you can get some really interesting results. All right, so this is uh, really the basic how you can do it, and uh, basically, as you can see, we can control the composition of the image, the style, by just mixing around with different weight, with colors, to create some really unique composition based on really what you want to achieve. Now, the best way to do is just play with it, try different crazy things. This is just very simple examples. And of course, it just allows you to really get what you want. Because if I wanted to get, for example, an image like that, the small man, I mean, if you try to put so many tags to describe it, you're probably going to get lots of noise in quotations and basically something that you don't want to get. Because we just take those words and bring up some things that are not related. You can play with, of course, weights, but if the sentence is very long, you might not get what you want. Whether with weight, we can actually achieve very precise results but just waiting certain words over others. Now, one last thing, uh, spice things up. You're probably really gonna like it. So basically, uh, you can see here, I wrote Emma Watson to Nicolas Cage 0.5 mix. And I got, uh, well, more Emma Watson. You are right, Emma Watson 0.5, Nicolas Cage 2. I got more Nicolas Cage. And then I write, well, this is basically, you know, we can just write it without the one. Emma Watson fun, wait, Nicolas Cage. And I got basically, Emma Cage or, well, Nicholas Watson. Cool. You can try it out and play with it and have some fun. I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers.